don't forget to drop a like on the video guys it costs you absolutely nothing and helps me out a ton thank you guys so much what's good youtube it's your boy chalk and i'm coming at you with another banger video you guys already know the vibes now look in today's video as you guys can see by the title in the thumbnail i'm going to be showing you guys the best center build on nba 2k20 as you guys saw in that quick little montage i threw together this build is deadly man and it can genuinely do it all everything that you need a center to do this build can do and today i'm going to teach you guys how to make this glitchy build for yourself but before i start the video i just want to say that 74 percent of you guys who are actively watching my videos are not sub to the channel and guys listen if all 74% of you guys subbed, I would be at like a lot of subs. So guys, please smash that sub button, man, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of the banger content on this channel. But without further ado, let's get right into this video, man. All right, so let's get down to the nitty and gritty, all right? You're going to select your position as a power forward. The reason you pick power forward instead of center is because it gives you a few more badges. So trust me guys, even though it says power forward, you're going to be using this build as a center or you could use it as a power forward, whatever you want to do. For your skill breakdown, aka your pie chart, you're going to go ahead and select the red and green pie chart that's going to give you Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame defense. I feel like popping centers are the most important thing in the game and you also want to be able to have Hall of Fame defense because you don't want to be a liability on that end of the floor. You want to be able to do a little bit of everything and selecting this pie chart is going to do that for you. For your physical profile guys, you can pick any of these, okay? It's all about preference, it's all about what you like. I'm more of a speed guy, I'm always going to say that being as fast as possible is the most important. However, you can make a strong case for going speed and vertical, that way your player jumps a little bit higher, but I'm personally going to go ahead and select the speed pie chart. That's my favorite pie chart, always has been and probably always will be. Now let's get to the nitty and the gritty. Let's go ahead and break down how you're going to divvy up your attributes. So look, you're going to max the top three and put your standing dunk to a 46. That's going to give you three finishing badges. And I've touched on finishing badges in my other videos. You don't need them, but three is recommended for this build. For your shooting, you're gonna go ahead and max it out, okay? You want to have as many shooting badges as possible on this build. I think that's what makes this build absolutely insane. And then for your defense, you're going to max that out as well. That's going to give you a breakdown of three finishing, 18 shooting, and 20 defense, guys. You don't need playmaking badges on the center. He's going to pass the ball well enough without them. And I'm telling you guys, this build is absolutely insane. This is the best way to build this build. Trust and believe me, I would not lead you astray. So boom. For your body shape, it's always a preference kind of thing. I say Burley. I feel like Burley gives you more body contact and that's important in this game. So I'm gonna tell you to go with the Burley body shape. For your height, this is where you kind of got to take a leap of faith, all right? I know a lot of people want to make these seven footers, these 6'11s, these 6'10s, listen. When you go above six foot nine, your Hall of Fame shooting is not as fast, okay? So somebody that's six ten or six eleven with Hall of Fame shooting doesn't shoot it as quickly as somebody who's six nine or below. So what I did personally is I went six eight. And I know what you're thinking, Chuck. Why in the world would you make a six foot eight center? Guys, I'm telling you right now, if you look at the rebounding, okay, look at the rebounding category. It's the same, guys. It's not a significant difference. And your speed is insane. You have a 80 speed and you have a very high vertical, guys. You're going to be able to play the pick and roll to perfection, okay? You're going to be able to hedge hard, get back on screens, and you're still going to be a lockdown defender, guys. I'm telling you, 6'8 is the glitch. But if you don't want to get that glitchy and you want to go 6'9, that's okay too. But I love the ideology of having a plus 80 speed at 99 overall. That's what I think separates this build from everything else. For your weight, you're going to go ahead and go minimum weight. Now, listen, I know what you're thinking, Chalk. You're making a six foot eight center with minimum weight, guys. Strength does not matter, okay? If you're worried about being thrown around in the post, if you put Hall of Fame post move lockdown on and moving Chalk, nobody's throwing you around. But I'm telling you guys, not a lot of people are using big centers in competitive gameplay. 
everybody's progressing towards the smaller centers they're running these double locks guys trust and believe me this is the glitchiest way to play the game now so trust me go ahead and go with minimum weight that's going to have you a plus 80 speed and a plus 80 acceleration when you hit 99 overall which is absolutely insane so 185 pounds you're going to max your wingspan out for your takeover okay look this is all a preference thing okay you can go short you can go glass i go rim protector takeover the reason i go rim protector takeover is so i can spam x okay if you pick glass takeover or shark takeover and you spam x you can go cold from it you'll lose your takeover the reason i go rim protector takeover is so i don't ever lose my takeover plus when i get the badge they're never scoring on me so i'm gonna go rim protector takeover and boom you have built a glass cleaner guys i'm telling you I know what you're thinking, man. You're like, what in the world is this guy talking about? A 6'8", six, 6'9", six, center, guys. These are the meta. I promise you guys, you're going to be so much faster. You're going to be so much better of a player because your center moves around faster than any center you're going to be playing. I'm telling you guys, this is the separating point. Speed is everything in 2K, and being a center this fast is going to make you absolutely insane. And I'm going to show you guys in some gameplay right here. All right, so let's get into this gameplay. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't typically play center, and to be honest with you guys, center highlights are not the most interesting and intriguing highlights, guys, but I did my best, all right? You guys know I still got that guard in me, so you guys see I'm still creating looks off the bounce, off the dribble, but I wanted to show you guys why this build is so good. As you guys can see right there, I don't even really get a good contest, but 2K registers that as a good contest, and I'm able to come down and green a three on the other end. I'm telling you guys, just because you are six foot eight doesn't mean that you're not going to absolutely lock down the paint. As you guys can see, my paint is not sweet at all. And I'm telling you guys, your paint won't be either. But as I was telling you guys before, one of the main reasons I love this build is because of how fast my jump shot is. If you are 6'10 or above, you will not get a fast jump shot like you see here. As you guys see, if you give me an inch of space, I'm getting my shot off and I'm knocking it down nine times out of 10. But for those of you guys who have been watching me since day one, I'm always preaching speed, guys. Speed absolutely kills in NBA 2K20, and it 100% matters. Look at how much faster I am than the opposing center, guys. I'm telling you, he's not going to score in my paint either, so it's like I have every single advantage on him. If my team's running pick and roll, I'm going to be able to hedge harder than him. I'm going to be able to get to spots quicker than him, and look at me, guys. I hold it down in the paint. I'm telling you, your paint is not going to be sweet. Don't get it twisted, guys. Your height has nothing to do with your paint. I'm telling you, you're going to be absolutely fine. And as you see right here, I'm just topping it off with something crazy. The biggest skill gap in NBA 2K20 by far is the defense. The team that plays better defense is going to win the game. Defense in threes is everything. And that's what I love about this build. It is so hard to score on this build, man. It's basically like having two locks running the pick and roll. It's so tough to score on. And that right there is going to separate you from other players. You're going to be a pest on defense. You're going to be able to knock down your shots and space the floor because threes are better than twos. And you're going to just be able to do a little bit of everything. And I'm telling you guys, this build is the jack of all trades. And that's why I love it so much. I would never recommend a build to you unless it can do everything. I mean, look right here, guys. I have a two-way slashing playmaker trying to ISO me, guys. And it can't work. Why? Because this build is so fast. And it makes it that much harder for him to get a basket. All good things come to an end, and this is the end of today's video, guys. I'm telling you right now, small ball is becoming the wave in real life, and it's becoming the wave in NBA 2K20. Trust and believe me that if you make this player, you will soon be succeeding on the virtual basketball court. I appreciate you guys for watching, but before I end the video, as always, if you guys follow me on Instagram at J35H and like all my pictures, I'll be sure to take the time to like all yours back. Also, follow me on Twitter at Chalk to stay up to date with what I got going on. And I got some banger tweets on there as well. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. As always, it's your boy Chalk, and I'm out. Peace.